It's that time in the show to check in on the crop markets with our crop marketing specialist, Dr. Kim Anderson. So Kim, what's happening in the markets? Well, you look at the wheat, I think the bleeding has stopped there. We got that downtrend that started back last July. I think we probably bottomed out. We talked about that the last couple of weeks. We got cash prices, oh, somewhere around $5.85 in Northern Oklahoma. If you look at it, forward contracting for harvest delivery, right at $6.00. About oh, 10 cents higher out in the panhandle, 25 cents lower in southern Oklahoma. Corn, I got a little rally in corn, 20 cents after that report last week, $4.65. If you're looking at forward contracting for 24, just under $5 at $4.90. Soybeans, a nice little rally in beans, up oh, around uh, $13.30. If you look at the 84 crop, uh, $12.40. So nice rally in beans. Looking at cotton, we rolled from the Dece to the March contract. That March is about two and a half cents higher than the Dece contract. So the, the, your cotton prices are re really about five cents below that March rather than three or two below the, uh, the, the Dece. So Thanksgiving's just in a few days. And what do you think markets are gonna be looking like for that first big holiday as we're kind of finishing up the year? Well, we move into what the trailers and the analysts call the holiday season. And so the markets tend to get uh, thin during that time period. So if you have somebody come in with a big sale or a big buy, it can artificially drive prices up higher than you expect or lower than you expect. So I think it's gonna be, a, normally it's a relatively smooth market, not much volatility with some jerks and knee jerks happening as certain things come into the market. Uh, most people say just ignore what the market's doing over the next 30 days or so. Well, now that you know, our summer crops are mainly almost uh, finished with harvest and uh, getting into the bin, and you know, wheat producers, it's, wheat's about to go dormant. What is this just a good time right now for producers to just kind of plan and look ahead? I think it's a good time for pe uh, producers to sit back, put their feet up if they possibly can, take a deep breath, and review what's happened over the last year. Take it easy, don't take life too serious because there's not a whole lot happening after you get. Now they may have corn and beans to sell. And the, I think the way to do that is just mechanically sell it, just set some, set, set some dates and pull the trigger when those dates come around. I think it's time to start thinking about the 24 crop year and what changes you're gonna make from 23. So take some time to rest, take some time to get some information together, take some time to look forward and take some time to be thankful for God's blessings. All righty, thanks, Kim. Dr. Cam Anderson, grade marketing specialist here at Oklahoma State University.